Okay then, in this video we will discuss map options of the central leaflet map class in more detail. Let's have a look one more time what map options we have. So for that let's go to the official documentation of the leaflet library. So we discussed some of the map options before, so like prefer canvas and some other options like control options, attribution or zoom control. Let's discuss some other ones which we haven't discussed. So for instance, under interaction options, we have zoom snap and zoom delta. So these ones, these zoom snap and zoom delta can be used to control um, how much maps zoom level will change after certain interaction using you know certain um, tools or methods. So for instance, this one zoom snap can be used to control um, how much maps zoom level will change after the after the user interacts with the mouse wheel or touch screen. So by mouse wheel, you mean I mean you know like when you when you scroll down or scroll um, scroll up using your mouse wheel or touch screen can be your phone or etc. So and zoom delta it's a it's very similar to zoom snap but it controls. Um, you can read in here as well. It controls how much the maps zoom level will change after zoom in and zoom out methods. So these ones, these two methods are available on the map, uh, on the central leaflet map object. So you can call them and then you can say, hey, after, for instance, after this event or after certain event, for instance, zoom in to this level or zoom out to this level. Or it also um, effects, for instance, it can also control um, zoom level uh, after pressing plus or minus buttons on the keyboard or using zoom controls. If you remember, we have zoom controls on the map, like plus and minus buttons. So it also can be configured by using zoom delta. So let's implement these ones. So for that, let's go to our code. Oops. So in here, um, we need to go. We need to go to our leaflet map object, and right after this min zoom. So I'll, I'll say zoom snap, zoom snap, then zero point twenty five. So, and then let's do the same for the zoom delta, zoom delta, zero point twenty five. So, and we also want to see how this one is affecting the map's uh, zoom level, so by displaying it on the console. So that's why let's, let's implement a event called zoom. So that event will then print out or console log um, the map's zoom level after each user interaction. So I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, what we need to do is we just need to attach that uh, that zoom level change event. So we do it by calling my map. So that's my maps uh, leaflet uh, object. So then I'll say zoom. Then function. And in here. We'll say console log then e dot target and then for, for now just print out this one and I'll just show you what what options we have after this uh, zoom event. So let's go to inspect and then console. So if I just zoom in, so as you can see it's just printing out. You know we have so many options in here. And we're interested in this one, zoom, uh, underscore zoom. So let's copy this and then after target, let's do this. So now it should print out, whenever there is a zoom level change, it should print out uh, the zoom level of the map. So, so if I just zoom in uh, using my mouse wheel, so I'm using my mouse wheel. So initially it was four, so my, my zoom level was 4, now it's 4.75. So if I go back, 
it's four. I can't go back anymore because my minimum zoom level set to four. That's why it's not letting me. So 475 and then 5.5. So the increase is by or increase or decrease is by 0 0.75. But if you remember, we set this one to be 0 0.25. So, but it's not behaving. As you can see, this one, this one, zoom snap, doesn't always behave. Even if you say 0 0.25, it's just changing by 0 0.75. So it's a bit, it's kind of bug or something like that in zoom uh, in leaflet. Um, let's check this one, zoom delta. So, so now if I just use this one, so let's refresh. So now it's zoom level is 4 so if I just uh, click on this zoom in button so zoom in it's 4.25 so our zoom delta is behaving so it's alright so it's behaving as it should so 4.75 5 and if I go back so it's 4.5 4.25 4 but I don't know why but this one zoom snap doesn't behave so that's not something uh, we can solve right now so that's how it works in leaflet. So then let's have a look what other map options we have. So if you scroll down, we have some other map state options like um, cordon reference system, center, zoom. And I think these ones are self-explanatory. So they are very easy to understand. So I recommend you just go through all of them and then um, read them one by one. So then we have max bounds. So for instance, this one, max bounds can be used um, to restrict uh, the user's view because it asks you for the latitude and longitude boundary so like two corners once you specify those two corners uh, your user will be trapped inside that boundary so your user will not be able to go beyond that boundary so it's really useful if you would like to for instance restrict your user's view to for instance to certain area for instance to your country or etc so then we have animation options we have panning inertia options so for instance like we have ease linearity so that's also useful and often used that one ease linearity can be used to set the panning speed so by panning i mean like when you move from with with your using your uh, mouse so mouse pointer so let's implement this one so for instance by default this one is 0 0.2 but let's make this one maybe uh, 0 0.5 so right after this one we can say is linearity and 0 0.5 and let's see how this one will affect um, map panning so as you can see I'm not sure if you can see this uh, effect it's much faster than it was I haven't shown you what it was before so that's why let's make it default 0 0.2 so you see it's much much slower while if I set 0 0.5 it's much faster so you can set whatever you like so then we have this one world copy jump that's also useful if you would like to if you would like your users to jump to the previous map if they go beyond the beyond the boundaries of the map or beyond the you know for instance for instance if you are in Australia and if you go to the right side again if you scroll like if you scroll right it just jumps to you know to the previous original map so I think the best is to show this one in practice so that's why let's set this one world copy jump to true because by default this one is set to false and we just set this one to true just to see the difference so true so now if I just so this is Australia so if I go beyond that Australia so just I'm not sure if you have seen that effect or no so if you just go there so it doesn't you know repeat instead it just jumps so it's just jumping so if I just set this one to false you will see how this one will look so you'll definitely see the difference you see it's not jumping in the previous one it's jumping to the original map so and if you don't like this kind of you know like repetition like repeated maps 
you can set no wrap to true so for instance I'll show you so for instance in here we have open street map and if I don't like this you know rep repeated map so I can set no wrap map and no wrap to true for this open street map so let's do that so for that I need to find open street map this one and then right after this max zoom I'll just say no wrap to true so it means map will not be you know repeated so as you can see it's just it's not repeating anymore you see so it's just finishing in here and if you go beyond here it just jumps to the original map that's I think very useful um, the best way to demonstrate this one is I think if you just set zoom level to for instance to 2 it's gonna zoom out you see it's just one map so if I just go here it's just jumping to the original map so that's it regarding map options you can I, I, I highly suggest that you just go through the map options one more time so touch interactions and etc up until here would be relating to map in, uh, map options in leaflet map api class so that's it regarding this video and i will see you in the next one